Right, so before this video starts, I just want to make a little bit of a update. Um, I did do some test footage using this camera, thinking that it was desynced, but for some reason, when I put it into my editing software, it was a lot better. So I got no idea what what was going on with the um, with the um, camera or the, the frames per second. But I think I managed to get it to work. But keep keep that in mind even though I say that it was lagging for some reason in editing the footage looked pretty all right not so bad so keep that in mind hello everyone look for Smith here actually filming this on a Sunday because I'm gonna have this as my second review of next week because I'm gonna release two reviews next week um because I I've just filmed an extra one that I didn't expect this is going to be the review and my thoughts of the Explore One HD action camera with Wi-Fi. Uh, we'll get into the Wi-Fi in a little bit, but what I will say with this is, let me just zoom in a little bit, cause this is small boy. I will say with this, it is a decent little camera for the price. Um, I believe it is a um, Costco camera due to the packaging it, it came in um, also what I'm going to do is in the description I'm going to put links into there with the um, unboxing video and the test video if you watch the test video you will see the quality even though the quality is decent for the price of this camera you do get desync with this and I tried it at at most of the um at most of the resolutions it's more or less the same thing so i recorded it at 1080p and there was still desync in there so unfortunately i cannot do anything about that uh, the best thing for this camera is if you're out and about this if you if you want to use this as a vlogging camera my ad my advice don't um because this is mainly used for action camera like action shots that sort of thing um if you only use it to take review shots with then um my my advice is to take the um take the sound out and put put like a voice over over it talking about the review because otherwise your voice would be desynced and it wouldn't look look very good however the quality is still decent for, for what it is so I'm not I'm not gonna lie it is not it is not a terrible one it's still pretty decent for what it does but anyway easy to use you got your on and off button here you got your lens here on the side you got your up and down buttons here many buttons also your Wi-Fi button up there on the back you've got your um fingerprint smudged your screen here also here you can't see it got your um, function lights there on the other side you got your micro USB in for charging and your um, SD card I am actually using the SD card it came with which is a 8 gigabyte card on the bottom you got a um, screw hole and a um, compartment for your battery in the um, top is your OK or recording button. So let me just turn it on. And the actual um, interface of this is basically the same as this one. Right here, it's the exact same. Let me just turn it on. exact same interface and everything um, I will say that the screen is bigger though you, you can basically see here the screen is the screen is bigger and you'll be able to see a bit more um, neither of these are touch screen though let me just turn this off right there that, all, that always beeps like that um, so let me just bring it out of it so you can see 
So here we have the menu buttons here and the OK buttons here. If you press uh, this one, go to photo mode, press it again, go to movie mode, and again you got your menu ones. Um, it's the um, that one there, you just press it, don't hold it. Once you're in the menu, you've basically got things like resolution, exposure, motion detection, cycle record, time lapse. You got like six screens with that in. So I'm just go back here. Um, on your um, on your main screen, you got basically um, how long you can record for on the SD card. You've got its 1080p, 30 frames per second, cycle mode off, um, audio recording on, and your battery meter. Down here, I've already set this. Here's your um, year, month, and date, and the actual time it is. And here is the um, icon because you've got an SD card in. If you don't have an SD card, then you won't be able to use this thing because it's SD card only, and it does not have a hard drive built into the software. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to show you um, what it's like on the um, on the one cam thing right here. So if you got the one cam or something cam, I kind of forgot the actual name of it. And um, I must admit, if right, if you press the up button here, right there. And this comes up and it'll say that so if you just press that it'll connect to it sometimes it'll go to the Wi-Fi settings or sometimes it'll just connect to it like that so we're gonna wait for it to connect yeah it'll just go back to the um to the Wi-Fi settings so let's go back here click on one explore in the instructions it will basically have the instructions on how to connect it I already done it you just connect it like a normal router and put in the um put in the actual code so let's go back connect again it's got to be on that screen all the time if you go off of that screen it will disconnect from the phone so you've basically got this here is your um, main screen right here and then you want to do this and you, you've, you've got it on your phone now unfortunately yeah you can actually see um, on there it's sort of like really weird and it's not looking so so, so good because the um, it's lagging and, and all sorts but um, when you hit to record, you think you can actually do it on your phone. This is actually a, um, yeah, you can actually record on your phone. It's actually recording right now. Um, I'm going to put this bit in the actual, um, in the actual clip. Record on your phone. It's actually recording right now. Um, I'm going to put this bit in the actual um in the actual clip yeah it's starting to like lag and stuff it it didn't oh yeah it's still doing it okay it's good yeah i'm going to be putting this in just to give you a little taste on what it's like if you want to stop recording then it's just press the record button again there you go and now it's stopped recording if you want to have a look at your files then click the file icon now the only problem with this is is um, I can't really access the files. You click on one, it'll probably work now, mind. Yeah, you click on one and nothing happens. It doesn't pop up. Uh, the best, the best thing to do with um, with this sort of thing is um, yeah, the best the best sort sort of thing to do with, with this. I'm actually going to um, turn it off right now. Press press up to return. So if you press up, 
it just returns to um, the normal on here. It just switches the feed over, really. It's a good idea. I quite like it. Um, however, sometimes it's a bit finicky to use. I've heard uh, I've heard about it being um, it disconnects from from the Wi-Fi, but when I used it, I didn't really have that much problems with it. With it, really. Let me just turn it off. You hold this one. Another good thing about it on your phone, you can actually see the battery life as well. So, so that is pretty good. So I'm going to pop it here. Zoom in a bit. So yeah, it is a pretty decent um, camera. Apart, yeah, apart from that problem with the um, with the lagging and and not 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 as great, like not as like um, oh, it's not like. 100% perfect if you want 100% perfect if you want like really brilliant 4k quality without any lagging or any problems then you'd need to spend another few hundred pounds on a GoPro I think it's like GoPro 9 they got out now um, but these things it's always good to keep keep a few a, a few in your bag like whenever you're out and about if you want to like um, take a few shots of something then yeah this is good for beginners, bit beginners. So it's actually pr pretty decent. Um, so yeah, I think I basically said it, everything I wanted to say about it. So it's not, it's not, not a bad camera for, for what it is. So it's actually pretty, pretty good, and it's, it is well built as well. Comes in a case. You can hold it underwater for um, it's about half an hour under like a certain amount of meters as well. So. What I'm going to be doing is, I'm going to be posting this on Thursday. I'll be rendering it out on Wednesday then. I need to make sure I do that. You'll be seeing a review uh, this Tuesday. Um, if you're watching this video, then it's already up. And yeah, I will see you guys next time in another video.